All right, in our next questions on dealing with rational and, and roots, um, we're asked to find the indicated real nth roots of A. All right, nth roots. Now the roots that we're referring to, all right, is what values, all right, um, that we can take the nth power of will give us A. So essentially we're going to create a variable. So I'm going to just use X because that's a variable like. So X to the third power or X to the n power, all right, has to equal a. So essentially that's what we're looking for. X to the n power equals a. Or sometimes the book will say b to the n power equals a. However you want to write it, but that's what we're looking for. All right. So x to the n power equals negative 125. All right, for this first one. Now if you recall in my previous tutorial, in order to figure out what x is, we need to use the inverse operation. Well, what is the inverse of x cubed? Well, hopefully you realize that is going to be the cube root of x, or cube root, and we have this right here. So, what times itself three times will give us negative 125? Well, right here, I think negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5, yes, that will give us 125. So, negative 5 is our solution. That's our root. All right, and we have one solution. Let's try another one. Um, so x to what power n, in this case it's 4, equals 16. All right, so once again, how do we solve for the fourth root, or fourth power? Well, we have to take the fourth root. <clears throat> so I'm going to take the fourth root. Now, if you recall my previous tutorial, when we have a fourth or even power, that means we're going to have two solutions, both a positive one and negative one. All right, positive and negative one. Because if you take this right here, what times itself four times will give us 16? Because that's the inverse. It'd be two times two times two times two, I believe. Two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. All right, so that's 16. But also negative two times negative two times negative two times negative two, that also equals 16, correct? So the negative negative is positive, negative negative makes positive. So what we have here is plus or minus two. That is our roots. We have two of them because we have an even power. And then before we use a even root. Now what happens when you take, all right, and you have x squared equals zero. Now this is sometimes where um, students get a little confused. <clears throat> what happens when you take, we're going to solve for the square. We're going to take a square root. If the square root, of zero, bring the plus or minus. Well, what times itself will give us zero? Well, zero times itself will give us zero. And yes, the square root of zero is zero. All right, so zero is our root. There really isn't any value there, but that's our answer. In the same way, if we have x to the third power and we have a equaling zero, x to the third root of zero, use the inverse operation, that's gonna also equal zero. So yes, the cube root of zero is zero. Actually, any root of zero is zero. And that is something that you want to know, all right? <clears throat> so one little property, probably want to write down, all right? Zero to the nth root will always equal zero, all right? And that is one you might want to just hang on to. All right, let's try some more, just for fun. All right, what is this one? Um, x to the fifth power equals 3, 2. This is a kind of a popular one. All right, so x, and we got to take the fifth root, 3, 2. So what do we got? Don't need to bring a plus or minus because it's an odd value. Only have one. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. What did we do? Right. I believe that equals 3, 2. <clears throat> so that means that our answer is 2 because 2 the fifth power equals 32 and that is what we're looking for here and then finally <clears throat> x squared equals negative 25. take the square root bring the plus or minus and now we have negative 25. so what value times itself will give you negative well if you remember from your previous ones can we take a square root of a negative number? The answer is no, we cannot. Because negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. 5 times 5 is 25. 
no no number multiplied by itself equals five. So really this one is gonna be plus or minus the square root of 25i, which is not really a root, it's an imaginary, and that would be plus or minus 5i, or we would say no real roots, all right, for this problem. So there is none for there. <coughs> all right, well, that's how you do it. <clears throat> so if it asks you, find the indicated roots, basically we're trying to figure out what x value to the n power gives us the a value that they give us. All right, um, so using inverse operations. Um, hope this helps you out. Good luck and God bless in the rest of your problems.